Alright, so as you might know, the Wolf Washer did come out last week on Blu-ray. As you can see, I picked it up. I picked it up at Best Buy. If I'd have known that Target was going to have a uh, be offering a still book, that I would have gotten it there. But anyway. Uh, the Blu-ray itself, uh, this is not going to be a review of the Blu-ray, this is just really kind of me uh, basically explaining further on why I love The Wolf of Wall Street and why I have uh, come to love it as much as I do now. But before I get into that, the Blu-ray itself, it doesn't really offer anything as far as special features go. It only comes with like this little short behind the scenes. I wouldn't even necessarily call it a documentary. It's only like 17 minutes. It's very short. Very well worth checking out if you haven't seen it or whatever. You just bought the Blu-ray, just watched the movie and just hadn't bothered with the special features. It's actually very interesting and very neat. However, with that one special feature, you do of course get the three-hour epic that is The Wolf of Wall Street. Originally when I first saw it, um, I liked it quite a bit. Didn't quite love it but after revisiting it a second time and you know uh, numerous times after that I've seen it five times in total it has really become one of my favorite films maybe ever if you're someone who's ever seen any of the videos where I reference Mark Scorsese then you would probably know that I'm a huge fan of the movie Goodfellas I really really love that film. I think it's one of those movies that you can just kind of pop in and watch. It's just one of those movies that if you see it on TV, um, you can't help but kind of tune into it and watch it and or whatever and you know maybe even finish it because it's just a film that's got incredible pacing. And besides Goodfellas being a product of just great filmmaking, you know, it's it was made by craftsmen. It's just a lot of fun. I love the way the movie incorporates music. It does help a lot with the pacing. However, it also gives the movie a lot of life. And it's really all these reasons is why I'm also a pretty huge fan of the movie Boogie Nights, uh, written and directed by Paul Thomas Anderson. And The Wolf of Wall Street is no exception. And what I like about The Wolf of Wall Street, what I love about The Wolf of Wall Street, is that it's essentially Goodfellas, but hopped up on cocaine. And what I also love about The Wolf of Wall Street is that it's just a great satire. It was interesting is that last week was my spring break. You know, typically with college kids, you know, they all flock to the beaches where they get drunk, have sex, and do mounds of drugs and all kinds of other stuff. Although this movie might not entirely be directed towards the spring breaker lifestyle, there are eras of this film where it does kind of reference, of course, doing things in such an excessive manner or should I say, a very destructive, excessive manner. Now, I do want to state that I don't believe there's anything wrong with drinking, I don't believe there's anything wrong with having sex, and I don't believe there's anything wrong with doing a little bit of pot, as long as it's in the right context or, you know, during the right situation or whatever. But I can't help but think that people who would flock to such destinations and people who would partake in such activities would look at Jordan Belfort and think, okay, yeah, this guy should be my idol, this, this is who I want to be, when, in fact, something like Wolf of Wall Street is really kind of, I don't want to say point, it's not pointing the finger, but it doesn't portray Jordan Belfort's antics in a positive light. So, if you're someone who's not necessarily picking up on what I'm trying to say, what I'm trying to say is that a film like The Wolf of Wall Street is kind of a godsend. It's a film that is very much worth seeing because it's a film that maybe perhaps people, particularly uh, teenagers, young adults, could learn from. These people, albeit you are laughing at them and sometimes you are laughing with them, um, these people are scum. Plain and simple. So I think if you're someone who goes into Wolf of Wall Street wanting to use your brain, then I think you'll very easily see what The Wolf of Wall Street is trying to convey. I think The Wolf of Wall Street is an incredibly intelligent film. I think it's one of actually Mark Scorsese's best films and I know that's saying a lot because, well, he's Mark Scorsese, one of the greatest American filmmakers, hell, one of the greatest filmmakers ever to have ever walked this earth. And The Wolf of Wall Street, I mean it is, it's just a great film. And if you're someone who didn't like The Wolf of Wall Street, someone who wasn't quite sure of what you thought of it then and you've only seen it once then I would maybe say uh, give it another shot if you're someone who likes Mark Scorsese films and if you're someone who doesn't typically like Mark Scorsese films then I don't know what to tell you because uh, he is indeed a pioneer but that's really all I had to say about The Wolf of Wall Street hope you enjoyed this video as always I'm Colin Kirkland and thank you so much for watching